Hello, it's kick-ass woman time. I'm Jenny Dye, author of the Brighton Chronicles. When I'm not writing, I love to learn about kick-ass women in history. I'm here to tell you about one of them. This kick-ass woman shouldn't have even lived. Wilma couldn't have imagined what the future would hold for her when her kidneys failed and she was close to death. Her brother's gift of a kidney saved her life. Wilma couldn't have imagined what the future would hold for her when she was in a head-on car collision in 1979 that killed her best friend and forced her through the agony of 17 surgeries and years of physical therapy. Before that, Wilma couldn't have imagined what the future would hold for her when her destitute family was removed from their Oklahoma land by the government during World War II because the Army needed their land for an Army camp. Determined to create a future for herself in California. Her family's new home, she married at 17, had two daughters, and then went to college, all the while involved in San Francisco's Indian Center. Wilma Mankiller developed a burning passion to help her people, the Cherokee. Cherokee tradition honored teamwork, men and women working together, but generations of white conquest had changed all that. Deep discouragement, broken promises, and a completely male-dominated culture had replaced their historical ways. Now the women were cast aside and forgotten. They lived hopeless and powerless, and the whole culture fought alcoholism and unemployment. An entire people were watching their old way of life die, and they felt completely helpless to change it. Until Wilma Mankiller showed what a kick-ass woman can do. Returning to Oklahoma with her two daughters after a divorce, she had great hopes of helping her people. She had no trouble starting with an entry-level job where she worked hard to prove herself. She was determined to show what she could do. Along the way, she faced slash tires and death threats as her popularity with her people grew. Beloved by the people she fought to help, she had enemies that were determined to stop her. There were many that did not want their male-dominated culture to change. <laughs> Nothing was going to stop this kick-ass woman, though. Just six years later, she was elected Deputy Chief of the Cherokee Nation. Two years later, the Chief resigned and she took his position. Just two years after that, she ran her own campaign and became the first elected female Chief of the Cherokee Nation. That was when her real battles began. She had been elected by her people. But the male-dominated Cherokee Nation leadership was not going to make it easy for her. She didn't expect them to, but she also wasn't going to let them stand in the way of her vision for her people. Their day had finally come again. She was elected twice more. In the ten years she served as chief, the Cherokee Nation changed radically. The tribe grew from 55,000 to 196,000 as people embraced their heritage. Their annual budget was more than $75 million and there were more than 1,200 employees. But it was her determination to change life for the Cherokee people that made her so beloved. She revitalized their entire economy. She revitalized their education system, giving hope to young people who'd had none before. And she did so much to restore the traditional equality between men and women. Women now stepped forward to claim their place and power within the Cherokee Nation. Wilma Mankiller restored faith to a desperate people. Health issues forced her to step down in 1995 and the great Cherokee chief died in 2010. But she showed what the determination and the vision of a kick-ass woman can do. Wilma Mankiller didn't take the easy way or the quick way. She took the way that was necessary and needed. This woman means so much to me because my great-grandmother and all who went before were full-blood Cherokee. I'm so proud to carry her blood. She holds a special place in my heart, and someday I will write her story. I cheered when I read about what Wilma Mankiller did for her people, for my people. You know, so many times we look for the quick way when change is needed. I prefer quick as much as anyone else, probably more, but it's not always the best way. Wilma is a wonderful reminder that often it takes a willingness to work within the existing structure it takes patience to wait for the opportunity that we desire to present itself. By having the patience to do these two things, Wilma created an environment where her people have hope. And now, present-day young Cherokee girls dream of becoming chief. Before her election, those girls would never have believed that possible. 
I can't possibly know what kind of road you need to take in your own life to create the changes you want to make, but I can encourage you to take the actions you need to take to become a kick-ass woman yourself. That's all for today. Subscribe to my channel below because I'll be adding many more stories of other kick-ass women. If you want to check out my best-selling historical novel series that focuses on some pretty amazing kick-ass women, you can use the link below to buy the first one for just 99 cents. And as long as you're clicking things, I'd appreciate a share and a like if that's true for you. Have a great day, and I'll be back soon.